Hello everyone, my name is Rawat Zaharuddin and this is how to make a substratum theme on XDA TV. So first of all, this video guide is based on Nicholas Chum's Substratum Make a Theme Guide. You can find this in the first link in the description down below. So you first need to, to download and install Android Studio. Next you need to download and install the proper SDK for your own phone. Then obviously you need to root your phone and you need to have the Substratum Theme app installed on your phone next what you want to do is go to file new project from version control git and then go to the first link in this guide which is also linked down below and then copy that link and then paste it in the git repo url right here and then the parent directory that you want to clone this uh, substratum theme template to will be here. So I've already uh, cloned this substratum theme template to start theming. And the first thing that I'm going to do is open up Gradle scripts, build Gradle module app, and then in the application ID, I want to change its com name to something like ryrosizo.test.theme and then sync the Gradle project. Next, I'm going to open app, go to res, values, strings, and then edit the theme name to something like my first theme. And the theme author, props to him by the way, will be Rawad Zahreddin. What I'm gonna do now is open the manifests folder and then go to android manifest.xml and what I'm going to do here is put in my email address for bug reports and then choose one of these three options for re theme ready gaps or google apps for the people that hate me saying gaps but anyway uh, if you've ever heard of team blackout or theme ready google apps you're gonna have to pick the ready option here and if you don't want to have theme ready gap support you can pick stock or if you want to have both you can just pick all for this first theme we go we're not going to theme any google apps so we're just we're just going to pick stock now let's head over to assets and overlays and then remove everything here so uh, <laughs> we're not going to use fonts boot animations or audio in our theme because we just want to theme one simple thing and we'll get to that later and then we won't be using we won't be theming any android related uh, assets or settings or system ui so we're just going to delete all of these out as well now what we want to theme is actually the oneplus desk clock floating action button so yeah that's a long sentence but what we we're essentially theming is this so this blue color will become something else that we will choose so what i've already downloaded on my phone is an app called pipette and if i share the screenshot with pipette i can now put the cursor on this floating action button and i can see its hex code right here so next i'm going to take out the apk from my phone the the oneplus desk clock apk and decompile it so what i'm going to do is download apk tool from the link down in the description as well and then with adb i'm going to pull the apk out of my phone so adb devices to check if my device is connected to my computer properly and then adb pull system since clock is a system app app since it's an app desk clock and then desk clock dot apk so now i've pulled the apk from my phone to my computer now i have to decompile it with apk tool that's super easy the name of the apk tool dot jar then space then the letter d for decompile and then the apk i want to decompile so desklock.apk hit enter and then wait for it to finish next i'm going to open desklock and then head over to android manifest.xml inside this desklock app the second line of the android manifest uh, xml has the com name for each and every app 
So now I know the com name for that app. I'm going to copy this name over and then head over to Android Studio. Go to Overlays, right click it, uh, go to Show in Explorer and then I'm going to open it up and then make a new folder here called this com name. Now I'm going to open that folder up and inside that folder we're going to modify a file in it that we're going to see right now. Now we already know the hex code is 00BCD4. This is the hex code that we want to change to something else. Now inside the decompiled app we're going to go into res and then look inside this res folder for 00BCD4. And I have a way to do that which is copying over the path to that folder and then in Notepad++, which is a great program by the way, I hit Control Shift F and then I type in 00BCD4 as the find what and then I paste the directory in the directory box here and then hit find all. Notepad++ will search for 00BCD4 in all of these folders and what do you know? It's in colors.xml. So here I have this line called op primary color with this hex code. And it's the only hex code found in all of the desk lock app. Now I will not be changing this color here because this is actually related to a lot of other assets other than just this floating action button. So what I'm going to do is find all the assets that are linked to op primary color. So copy over OP primary color, control shift F, paste, find all. Now a lot of search results are here, but what we're interested in is reading. So we have to read the search results. And while I was reading, I found out that this XML is called floating action button dot xml so this is what we're interested in i double click the result this is the result so we can see that the ripple is connected to color uh, clock white which is by the way here in the colors.xml which is full white and then another reference to color which is op primary color which is the oval shaped floating action button so what we need to do is put this over into the substratum theme and then edit these two references to a color of our own. So floating action button is inside drawable v21. So I go into the decompiled app, drawable v21, and then floating action button. That's it. I copy over this XML file, go into the substratum theme, and make a new folder called drawable v21. Hit enter twice to get into it, and then paste. I'm going to edit this inside Android Studio here. So I'm going to open that and edit. Now we're going to remove these references here to make the floating action button independent from all of the assets of the app. I'm going to set this as a hex code of white. So the first two are uh, the alpha, then red, then green, then blue. So this is just full blown white. And then we're going to edit the floating action button color to something like green. So it is opaque, it is not red, it is green, and it is not blue. And before hitting play, I'm going to go into this arrow here, hit edit configurations, and set the launch options to nothing. And then hit OK, and then finally hit play. Now as you can see from this screenshot, my first theme is installed onto my device. So I open that up, I select the clock here and then scroll down a bit and install selected. Now I'm not going to make a full reboot here, I'm going to hit menu and then soft reboot to make things faster. And so then after we rebooted, we have a green floating action button. This is how you start theming with Substratum on Android.